My work is all centred around walking. I live in a very, very rural, remote landscape. And, you know, the way that I explore um, the area, as well as sort of my work, is through sort of maps and walking. The meadow piece, it's um, called Kengol Mountain Walk. And this was actually inspired by um, one of my favorite books called The Living Mountain by Nan Shepherd. It's supposed to be a guidebook where she talks about plant life, human life. I actually went on a, a trip to the Kengorms. So the way that I made them is I actually went up on the fells, collected bits of grass and stuff, and then took them back to the studio and printed them. So they were all kind of hand done, hand rubbed, three and a half thousand prints in total. It was weeks and weeks of work. For me, it's all about that kind of the growth of the meadow. It's those ideas of, you know, protecting our landscape and, you know, regenerating it and looking after it. And also how this microscopic beauty is important to the ecology. And one of the things I was interested in there was actually how can I collaborate with nature directly with my drawings? I believe in you, Joanna. This is actually a drawing that was made um, as part of um, a residency that I did at Cheeseburn Sculpture Park. So Joanna um, Riddle is the owner of Cheeseburn Grange, and I wanted to get an understanding of what, what it was about her that had such a big impact on the place. And also because she'd had this house set up as a sculpture garden, you've got man-made versus natural elements. The planting of that, those gardens was actually... Um, designed by an architect called John Dobson, and he designed the pleasure gardens. Part of that was he just planted thousands of yew trees. So the pigment that you see, the colour in there, in this particular drawing, is actually made from yew tree. And I just used the charcoal, it's just found charcoal. So, you know, it's all very much part of the actual place itself. The third piece is called Dreaming Dobson's Dream. There's an artist called John Varley who painted a painting um, called Dobson's Dream. His interpretation of John Dobson's landscape. So my interpretation is quite abstract. I kind of picked up some bits of fallen stone and things that came from the one of the barns and then made it into a pigment and used that to paint on. So that really sandy texture. This is one of the map drawings. So this is kind of directly influenced by the maps and plans. What my work is about is noticing the unnoticed. So it's kind of all these little elements, these components, which we don't necessarily, you wouldn't necessarily notice. For my work, I want people to have the experience of a walk, of being in a landscape, sensing what's around them, feeling what's around them. So when people enter into my world, I want them to have their own experience and it's that, for it to become their world.